I'm Tad. Today on Tips for Technicians, I want to talk to you about installing the drain hose properly on a wall mount air handler. This is a wall mount ductless mini split and there's a few things you need to know, so let's get started. So if I look at this air handler here, I've got two outlets on the coils pan. One here on this side and then one directly on the other side of the piece of the equipment. The actual coil pan spans the length of the equipment and you need to make sure that you hook up that certain outlet that is closest to your drain's termination. Now, this drain right here is right there, right? But it was hooked up on the other side over here. Now, the unit was installed level, but because it didn't have a slight slope to it, the water was staying in the pan and it was overflowing. So I fixed the issue by just taking the actual plug out of this side, boop, putting my hose on it, running to the other side, and then just putting that plug over there where the drain was. Now, there's two other things I got to tell you on this video here. And the first one is definitely make sure that you check out your manufacturer's recommended distance, okay, for obstructions in front of the supply. Because this right here is mounted in an area where it does not have enough room to throw the supply air. Now, what happens is, is a bounce back effect. The airflow hits the wall, goes into the return, bounces back way too quick, the equipment shuts off. Now, two situations happen when that, when that occurs. The first is the longevity of the outdoor equipment. It diminishes because the equipment shuts off before it needs to, and that constant shutting on, shutting off, causes a decreased life. Now, the second thing is it's uncomfortable in here. The unit didn't run long enough. It didn't satisfy the temperature like it was supposed to. Um, it just satisfied before that, and then it shut off. So definitely make sure that you check out your manufacturer's recommended uh, distances, usually with Samsung and a one ton unit, um, just off the top of my head, 15 foot in front of a, a, a one ton unit. So 15 feet, this right here is about four foot, okay? Now, the next most critical thing is distance above, okay? Distance above the actual return, okay? You need about five inches. Why? So that you can have enough air. You can never have enough return and if you don't have enough return, you won't have enough supply. These are a few tips. Make sure that you adhere to the installation manual so that you know how to install this unit properly. If you guys have any more questions about wall mount air handlers and the drain hookups, please comment below. Don't forget to subscribe. This is Tad with Techs for Tips. Just kidding. Tips for Techs. See you guys.